Hello you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then my name is Katie. And if you are not new, then welcome back. So obviously I missed last week. Um, you guys already know my intros are long, so sorry. Not sorry, but I just like to talk to you guys. But anyway, I missed last week. Sorry. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know why. I just need you guys to follow me on Instagram. I'm not even saying that because I care how many followers I have on Instagram. I just care if you in particular follow me on Instagram, you know? I feel like it's the easiest way for me to communicate with you guys. Long story short, Junior is like the sweetest dog. He's literally everyone's favorite, but he's like so skittish and jumpy. And if you bother him while he's sleeping or if he gets just bothered in general, he'll snap at you. And I don't think he does it maliciously. I think it's just because he gets scared. I think he's just skittish and scared, but anyway. Sleeping like this, I had him like right close to my face and I think I like twitched or jerked when I was sleeping and he nipped my lip. You literally can't even see it now because I put makeup on. That's like half the reason why my base is already done. But it looked really nasty for the past week and I literally sat with Neosporin and vitamin E oil on it every day, all day and it just, it didn't look good, okay? So I spared you from me filming with it looking like that. Also, my upstairs is getting done. Well, not the whole thing, just the floors for now. That's all I can afford right now, but I have not lived upstairs in my house since I moved in. Ironically enough, I've been literally living in my living room, so it would be nice to like sleep in a bed. Where I was going with all that was just that I've had contractors here pretty much every single day and on the weekends, drilling, banging, doing all the things. So it's been pretty hard for me to work and Crazy enough, I've been actually sleeping at night, so I haven't really been able to film at 5 a.m. like I used to. And speaking of getting a good night's sleep, this is actually the perfect segue into today's sponsor. I'm getting really good at this, guys. <laughs> but it's all true, so that's why it's cool. But I would like to give a huge thank you to Beam for sponsoring today's video. So Beam is actually such a cool company and it has a really cool backstory. Beam was actually founded by these two men who are literal ex-CrossFit competitors, ex-Ironman triathletes. And after they were doing this for some time, it really started to take a toll on their body. So they teamed up, got together, and they were like, there has to be a way for us to find something that's natural that we could take that helps us from the pains and aches from doing all this stuff. And that is how Beam really came about. So Beam is actually a full range of all natural, high quality CBD products. And they have all different types of products that were made to help target specific struggles, but do so in a natural way. Being in the nightlife industry for so many years has really just messed me up. And I'm just so used to working throughout the night and I've struggled so hard with just trying to get to bed at a decent time. And this is the first thing that I've ever tried that. I has given me any hope because it actually works and to be honest I feel like it works a little too good because now I'm in bed by like nine o'clock and it's nice don't get me wrong if I'm like loving it but it's just been hard because the last couple weeks I haven't really been able to get much work done during the day so then not being able to film at night really messed me up but it's it's good this is a good thing so I want to show you guys the magic um, I've been doing a couple different things but this is one of them and this is the dream powder and you guys, this is a game changer. Like I'm just game changer, okay? All I do is I take one scoop of this and I mix it with a hot cup of water and I drink it before bedtime and it has literally helped my sleep quality improve so much, you have no idea. And if you're wondering what it tastes like, it kind of tastes like, like cinnamon hot chocolate. And I switch between this and then they also have capsules too. So these are the little capsules that you can take and then you just take two of these before bed. And obviously you guys know that I edit my own videos and you see me obviously when I'm filming and I just, I get super distracted. I go on tangents, you, you know how it is. So I also take these focus capsules and I'll take two of these right before I go to edit or right before I'm trying to like research, you know, upcoming topics and trends and just different topics for video ideas. This has helped me a lot. And it's actually made with nano CBD, so it dissolves quicker and it's way more effective. And just so you guys know, there's zero THC in these products, 100% guaranteed. This is all natural CBD, no THC in any of their products. If you guys are interested in Beam at all, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the description box. And I really just encourage you guys to just 
go check out their website, look at their products, do your research, and if you end up wanting to try any of their products, you can actually use my discount code and you will receive 20% off of a full-size product. So I just want to give a huge thank you once again to Beam for sponsoring today's video. And with all that being said, we can actually get into today's video. And today's video is going to be me trying Kylie Cosmetics for the first time ever. So if you would like to see me try the new Cheetah collection and try Kylie Cosmetics for the first time, then just keep watching. All right, let's hop into this package because I've been waiting to open it with you guys. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Cheetah collection and ideally I wish this video would have went up a week ago, but we already went through that. So I know I have kind of played around with brand collabs before, but you guys know how I feel about brand collabs. And this is not a brand collab. This is an actual person's brand. So I feel comfortable reviewing it and giving, you know, critiques and stuff like that. So it's going to be a little different, I guess. Um, be quiet. The packaging is really pretty. I'm not going to lie. She is stunningly beautiful. Like we can't deny that. I mean, regardless of like however she got there she's beautiful there is glitter on the packaging though i would personally prefer to not have glitter all over me but it's not my brand so she can do whatever she wants this is what i was most excited about so let's open this baby up i'm not gonna do swatches or anything like that because i'm like not that much of an official review channel yet okay this is what the palette looks like this is a highlighter. Ooh, I like this packaging. I love brown and nude. These are my vibes. It's like a gold champagne color. And then the lip kit. I don't even remember what this stuff looks like, honestly. Oh, cool, it's like a neutral. And then these are lashes. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna use these. This is a high gloss set. What does that mean? Oh, <laughs> they're glosses. That's what that means. So we have this champagne glitter color, kind of like a pinky nude color. This is like a corally salmon sparkly color. And then this is like a deeper nude color. And then lastly, I want to say these are the eyeshadows. This is like champagne color. And this is like a rosy gold. All right, y'all, so that is the full collection, and I clearly already have my base done. So we are going to hop into the eyes first. I'm different. First, I'm gonna hop into Seeing Stripes on a MAC 286 brush, and this is like a really pretty mustard color. Now, obviously, this is the first time that I'm ever using shadows from Kylie Cosmetics, so I don't know how they perform. I'm first just gonna kinda tap this in like this and lay the product down and then I'm going to go back and forth and then show away her motions. This shade is definitely obviously showing up, but it's actually not as rich as I thought it was going to be. And listen, I don't know what keeps you up at night, but these shadows are pretty powdery. Kick up is what people call it. I don't care about that. I really could care less. It's kind of crazy though, because once you work with a lot of shadows, you learn like what is like super pigmented and what isn't. For example, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Soft Brown from MAC, but if you look at Soft Brown in the pan, it looks almost similar to something like this, but then it just packs such a punch. So I actually thought that that was going to be a little more pigmented but it's still a very pretty color like i'm not complaining i'm just giving my thoughts as we're moving along because i actually did want to kind of like review it and dive a little bit deeper into the actual brand so just to keep it simple i'm just going to use the same exact brush and i'm going to hop into cheetah girl that's this like orangey color i'm going to keep this color a little lower and just by judging off of the texture of the shadow, the reason why I'm tapping it in first is because I don't want it to just fluff all over my eyes, so I want to be a little more precise with it. As time goes on and you get to work with different shadows, you'll see like what's pressed harder, and you know, if these shadows are pressed a little bit harder, I'd feel more comfortable kind of going in and starting to do like flinch away from motions, but you just learn to work with different textures and that doesn't mean there's anything necessarily wrong with it. It just means that you have to learn to work with whatever texture shadow that you're working with. So 
if you are working with a more pigmented and lighter pressed shadow, then you will have to be like a little, you know, just a little more careful with what you're doing. And there's there's nothing wrong with that. A lot of times people will see kick up and they'll just say like, oh, I don't want to work with that. But I think that I just view makeup as like an art and I like to figure out how to work with what I have instead of just writing it off and being like, oh, I don't want to work with this. And honestly, I'm just someone who always likes to do their base first and I've learned how to just kind of like get around it. But there is some fallout right here, if you could see that. All I have to do is take a powder brush, something like this, and just flick up. Some fallout does stick and stain, but this just flicks right away. And you can always actually put a little bit of translucent powder under your eye as well, or you could just do your eyes first. And now taking my Dog Chewed MAC 217 brush, I'm going to hop into Feline Fine. Now that's interesting because this shade is actually pressed harder than the other ones. So once again, nothing wrong with that. I'm just pointing stuff out. I'm going to take this and I'm going to pack this into the outer corner kind of just creating like a sunset. And the good thing about these kinds of tones is they look so pretty on every single eye color, so it doesn't really matter like what your eye color is. Sometimes, you know, I'll do looks and it might not be like the most flattering on like a green eye or a blue eye, but these kinds of tones happen to look really nice on like every single eye color. I'm not gonna lie you guys, and this might seem like shocking to some of you because I feel like I don't really ever say like much negative things about makeup products on my channel, but I'm not really impressed with these shadows. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the way that these shadows are coming up on my eye, they just seem like they'd be a lot more deeper and a lot richer, and then they're just coming up kind of, I don't know. Like I, I just, I want this to be like a deep, rich maroon color, and it's, it's not exactly playing out to be. I wonder if I could find a shade that's similar to this in my collection so I can like kind of show you guys what I mean. This is the Morphe 39A, the Born to Create palette. So I'm actually gonna take this shade right here because I feel like that's pretty similar to the one that I've been using. But I'm gonna take my finger and just... That's the Morphe color. And now with a clean finger, I'm going to take this. You see that? Like, do you see what I'm saying? I'll actually even use a new finger, but I'm really like digging in here, you know? Like I'm really trying to get the product. This is Kylie. That one's even a little bit better, but mm, should I take my pinky? I'm running out of fingers. See, this one even like feels like creamier and just like less, I don't know. Yeah, like it's just, this is so much more rich and deep. Like, I just wish that this had a little more depth. I think I'm gonna hop into Golden, S Golden Speed and just loading this up. I feel like I can already tell. You know what? Never mind. I'm not gonna judge it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use it. Okay, I'm going to put this on the inner corner of my eye. Yeah, you know actually, that is performing better than I thought. I thought it was gonna be wacky. I was trying to pick it up on my brush and it seemed like it wasn't really grabbing onto anything, but that's actually a really pretty color. I stand corrected. And next, I'm going to hop into Lucky Leo, and I'm going to put that on the center of my lid. So I'm just kind of like blending these two colors together. I'm actually going to use my finger and see if that comes up any better. So this shade is just like really chunky, but I think that the key is to kind of like smushing those chunks. <laughs> And then you'll actually get the color payoff. Because when you just tap it in, like you don't get that coppery effect. But when you like smash it in, that's when it kind of pops. Like I don't know if you saw that happen. Like, okay. 
So if you kind of just tap it like this, like with a brush, like how I would typically apply it, you can like barely see it, right? And then it's chunky, it's super weird. Look, I'm like digging into this too. Like, do you see that? And then look, if you tap it, it's like barely anything. But if you rub it, see? And now for the bottom lash line, I'm basically just going to recreate what I did on the top on the bottom. So I'm going to use the Seeing Stripes and then the Cheetah Girl and then the Feline Fine. And just like another side note, mind you, I know this isn't like my vision and my brand and my color story, but I just, I don't understand this color. Like where, why, where are we using this? I don't understand. I mean, this color is called Wild Side. I would definitely say it's just kind of like a wild card. Like I don't, I feel like everything else kind of makes sense. And when I look at this, like this looks very like aesthetically pleasing to me, but this shade is just so strange to me. That's just like a total side note, personal preference, like 100%, but anyway. I'm taking that mustardy color and I'm just running this with a M507 brush on my lower lash line. And this color will be the color that I take down the furthest. This is like, sorry, this is literally like the third layer I'm putting on now and there's just no, depth like like I can definitely get them to be where I want them to be but I don't know I would just expect that at this price point that it wouldn't take this much work same brush I'm just gonna go into the orange color and honestly I really do want your honest opinion on this I would like to know in the comments below like how you feel about this style of video because like I said, I've never really done a video like this before. Like I've been, you know, I've been doing this now for, it'll be almost a year. And I, I like, I, I don't really ever speak negatively about any type of products or really give my opinion on them. Just cause I feel like everyone's different. And I don't know, like I'm, I'm in makeup more for like the art of it, not necessarily to like review it and critique it and to pick it apart. Um, I'm not opposed to doing it though, I'm not obviously. Like I definitely have opinions about things. I just don't know if you guys care, you know? Like do you care what I think <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Would you rather me just say like, hey, here's an eyeshadow palette and I'm just gonna try to come up with a look or do you like the commentary along the way? Let me know in the comments below. All right, so that is about all I'm gonna do as far as eyeshadow goes. So I'm just going to apply lashes really quickly off camera and then I will be right back. Okay, so this is the eyes all complete and I have kind of just patted out my lips and gotten rid of what I had on prior. And now we are going to try out the Can't Be Tamed lip liner. I mean, you guys don't need to watch me do this, but I'm just going to line my lips really quickly. So I feel like I'm just being really negative during this video, but these lip liners are just not my favorite. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I just like a classic pencil lip liner, like the classic MAC lip liners, even Morphe makes, you know, good like pencil lip liners. This like plasticky, like super, you know, glidey and waxy. Like I, I just like a more firm lip liner and I don't know. Like I just don't understand using the more plasticky packaging for lip liners. Like I would even assume it's a little more cheaper to just use a classic pencil. So I don't really get it. The liquid lip is called, can't be tamed as well. What does this smell like? I feel like this smells like something very distinct and I don't like it. What is that? Oh my God. What is? No. Hard no. Yeah, immediately no. Immediately no. Well. Immediately no. What is this? I'm telling you right now, I seen see what enough. I needed to see. Did you just see that? I am actually done. Like what in the world? 
there, there's no stopper on this. Like, it's just coming out. No, that's not, that's not what the kids want to see. I would like to speak to the man in charge. I'm sorry, woman in charge. I also have my period, you guys, just so you know. So just add that to the mix, you know? Let's hop into this gloss set. This is really pretty packaging though. I gotta give it to her. She is stunning. I guess let's hop into this color. I feel like this is the one that's supposed to, you know, coincide with the lip option. This is called Bad Kitty. That's pretty. We have the Press Highlighter and Hear Me Roar. It's a cute name, looks like this. very pretty I like it a lot hmm I feel like it does leave a cast though yeah it definitely does I don't know if you guys can see but when I'm looking forward it leaves like a kind of like a gray cast oh this is not going well it's pretty from the side though and it would definitely be prettier on fair skin tones like very Fair because I'm pretty fair myself, so you'd have to be even more fair than I am. I'm just gonna add some blush over top of that and try to fix it. Alrighty, was that it? Oh no, we have these um, lashes. Okay, well, you know what? First of all, can I say something very quickly? Um, who wanted these? Who asked? Who asked for these? No one asked for these. Not even the most bored person in quarantine right now has the time or energy to apply individual lashes. Coming from someone who has done makeup for the past 10 years professionally, um, I have only ever used these on brides and I charge a damn good amount of money to do so. So, they're just like so unnecessary for an everyday. Like if you like this look, you can find a strip lash that'll give you like a wispy look and it takes, you know, all of a couple minutes to apply. If you at home are spending the time to apply individual lashes, I do applaud you, but I need, I just need you to stop because like, honestly, life is too short, you know? Life is it's just too short and you should not be wasting your time doing this. Not trying to be rude, but I feel like she probably just wanted to add in another product and upcharge for it and throw it in the collection to charge more money and that's what she did. And like, listen, I don't knock her for it because she's a billionaire for a reason, you know? She, she's smart. But like, I'm just, I'm just not stupid and like this, yeah, no one, no one wanted this. I could understand if she made this a permanent product like if she if her brand offered individual lashes for purchase you know i could understand that but to kind of like put this as a limited edition and then stick it in a bundle and like make people buy it i just i just feel like it's rude i'm so sorry guys i feel like this video is extremely negative and i feel like i'm really not usually a negative person on my channel but if I'm going to do a review, I'm going to give you my honest opinion and I gave it to you. If you didn't like this video, then I'm really sorry. If you did like this video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it. I mean, I hope you like the makeup look. I mean, final thoughts, like I I do like the, I do like the eyeshadow palette, okay? Like I'm, I just wish that at this price point there wasn't a learning curve or I didn't have to put in like a little bit more elbow grease. Like honestly, after working with Elf so much in the past few months and like seeing their eyeshadows, like those little those little quad eyeshadows, they're $3. Like they're literally $3 for a quad eyeshadow and they perform better. They perform better than this. Like um I like I said what I said, they just do. And for three dollars so if i'm going to spend my hard-earned monies 175 dollars of monies on a collection i just want to be wowed you know and i i unfortunately i just wasn't wow so yeah okay i'm done 
thank you guys so much for watching this video and i want to give one more big special thank you to beam for sponsoring today's video and really quickly i also want to thank you guys so much for being so supportive of my channel and me getting sponsorships and like i'm literally able to do my dream job because of these sponsorships and because of you guys and i'm able to work from home now and i i'm just like i'm just so happy and i'm so thankful and fortunate and yeah i love you guys so much and i will hopefully see you in the next video bye guys